The Niger River, French, Le Fleuve Niger, pronounced L Ni, is the principal river of West Africa, extending about 4,180 kilometers (2,600 miles). Its drainage basin is 2,117,700 square kilometers (817,600 square miles) in area. Its source is in the Guinea Highlands in southeastern Guinea. It runs in a crescent through Mali, Niger, on the border with Benin and then through Nigeria, discharging through a massive delta, known as the Niger Delta or the Oil Rivers, into the Gulf of Guinea in the Atlantic Ocean. The Niger is the third longest river in Africa, exceeded only by the Nile and the Congo River also known as the Zaire River. Its main tributary is the Banu River. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic. The Niger has different names in the different languages of the region. Manding, Jeliba or Joliba, Great River. Igbo, Oromiri or Oromili, Great Water. Tuareg, Egeru N Igerowan, River of Rivers. Songhay, Isa, the River. Zarma, Isa Biri, Great River. Hausa, Quera. Yoruba, Oyatha earliest use of the name, Niger, for the river is by Leo Africanus in his Della Descritione dell'Africa et della Cosa Notabili che Iui Sono published in Italian in 1550. The name may come from Berber phrase ger and ger meaning, river of rivers. As Timbuktu was the southern end of the principal trans-Saharan trade route to the western Mediterranean, it was the source of most European knowledge of the region. Medieval European maps applied the name Niger to the middle reaches of the river, in modern Mali, but Quora to the lower reaches in modern Nigeria, as these were not recognized at the time as being the same river. When European colonial powers began to send ships along the west coast of Africa in the 16th and 17th centuries, the Senegal River was often postulated to be the seaward end of the Niger. The Niger Delta, pouring into the Atlantic through mangrove swamps and thousands of distributaries along more than 160 kilometers (100 miles), was thought to be no more than coastal wetlands. It was only with the 18th century visits of Mungo Park, who traveled down the Niger River and visited the great Sahelian empires of his day, that Europeans correctly identified the course of the Niger and extended the name to its entire course. The modern nations of Nigeria and Niger take their names from the river, marking contesting national claims by colonial powers of the upper, lower, and middle Niger River Basin during the scramble for Africa at the end of the 19th century. Geography <inaudible> 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 The Niger River is a relatively clear river, carrying only a tenth as much sediment as the Nile because the Niger's headwaters lie in ancient rocks that provide little silt. Like the Nile, the Niger floods yearly, this begins in September, peaks in November, and finishes by May. An unusual feature of the river is the inner Niger Delta, which forms where its gradient suddenly decreases. The result is a region of braided streams, marshes, and lakes the size of Belgium. The seasonal floods make the delta extremely productive for both fishing and agriculture. The river loses nearly two thirds of its potential flow in the inner delta between Segu and Timbuktu to seepage and evaporation. All the water from the Bani River, which flows into the delta at Mopti, does not compensate for the losses. The average loss is estimated at 31 km 3 per year, but varies considerably between years. The river is then joined by various tributaries, but also loses more water to evaporation. The quantity of water entering Nigeria measured in Yola was estimated at 25 km 3 per year before the 1980s and at 13.5 km 3 per year during the 1980s. The most important tributary of the Niger in Nigeria is the Banu River which merges with the river at Lokoha in Nigeria. The total volume of tributaries in Nigeria is six times higher than the inflow into Nigeria, with a flow near the mouth of the river standing at 177.0 km 3 per year before the 1980s and 147.3 km 3 per year during the 1980s. <laughs> Unusual route the Niger takes one of the most unusual routes of any major river, a boomerang shape that baffled geographers for two centuries. 
Its source is just 240 kilometers (150 miles) inland from the Atlantic Ocean, but the river runs directly away from the sea into the Sahara Desert, then takes a sharp right turn near the ancient city of Timbuktu (Tombouctou) and heads southeast to the Gulf of Guinea. This strange geography apparently came about because the Niger River is two ancient rivers joined together. The Upper Niger, from the source west of Timbuktu to the bend in the current river near Timbuktu, once emptied into a now dry lake to the east-northeast of Timbuktu, while the Lower Niger started to the south of Timbuktu and flowed south into the Gulf of Guinea. Over time upstream erosion by the Lower Niger resulted in stream capture of the Upper Niger by the Lower Niger. The northern part of the river, known as the Niger Bend, is an important area because it is the major river and source of water in that part of the Sahara Desert. This made it the focal point of trade across the Western Sahara, and the center of the Sahelian kingdoms of Mali and Gao. The surrounding Niger River Basin is one of the distinct physiographic sections of the Sudan province, which in turn is part of the larger African Massive Physiographic Division. <laughs> European exploration The origin of the river S name remains unclear. What is clear is that Niger was an appellation applied in the Mediterranean world from at least the Classical era, when knowledge of the area by Europeans was slightly better than fable. A careful study of classical writings on the interior of the Sahara begins with Ptolemy, who mentions two rivers in the desert, the Gur Ger and farther south, the Nagir. The first has been since identified as the Wadi Ghir on the northwestern edge of the Tuat, along the borders of modern Morocco and Algeria. This would likely have been as far as Ptolemy would have had consistent records. The Ni Ger was likely speculation, although the name stuck as that of a river south of the Mediterranean's known world. Suetonius reports Romans traveling to the Ger. Although in reporting any river's name derived from a Berber language, in which Gur means watercourse, confusion could easily arise. Pliny connected these two rivers as one long watercourse which flowed via lakes and underground sections into the Nile, a notion which persisted in the Arab and European worlds, and further added the Senegal River as the Ger until the 19th century. The connection to the Nile River was made not simply because this was then known as the Great River of Ethiopia, by which all lands south of the desert were called by classical writers, but because the Nile flooded every summer. In Europe and Western Asia, floods are expected in the spring, following snowmelt. Classical authors explained the summer flood by calculating the time it took for flood waters to move down a river, and calculating how long the Nile must have been for the waters to travel from a mountain range in the spring. However the cycle of the Nile is influenced by tropical rain patterns instead of by melting snow, a characteristic unknown to the classical Mediterranean world. Through the descriptions of Leo Africanus and even Ibn Battuta, despite his visit to the river, the myth connecting the Niger to the Nile persisted. While the true course of the Niger was presumably known to locals, it was a mystery to the outside world until the late 18th century. Ancient Romans such as Pliny NH thought that the river near Timbuktu was part of the Nile River, a belief also held by Ibn Battuta, while early European explorers thought that it flowed west and joined the Senegal River. Many European expeditions to plot the river were unsuccessful. In 1788 the African Association was formed in England to promote the exploration of Africa in the hopes of locating the Niger, and in June 1796 the Scottish explorer Mungo Park was the first European to lay eyes on the middle portion of the river since antiquity and perhaps ever. The true course was established in his book Travels in the Interior of Africa, which appeared in 1799. The African Association failed in assaults from the north Tripoli, the east Cairo, and the west Gambia. The membership now proposed that an effort be made from the south. The site chosen in 1804 from which to strike inland was a British trading post in the Gulf of Guinea. Unbeknownst to him, the river mouth that emptied into the Gulf, whence Henry Nichols was to set out in search of the Niger, was precisely the end of the Niger itself. Only the Europeans did not know it yet. The starting point of the expedition was in fact its destination. On October 24, 1946, three Frenchmen, Jean Savi, Pierre Ponty, and movie maker Jean Rauch, former civil servants in the African French colonies, set out to travel the entire length of the river, as no one else seemed to have done previously. 
They traveled from the very beginning of the river near Kisidugu in Guinea, walking at first till a raft could be used, then changing to various local crafts as the river broadened and changed. Two of them reached the ocean on March 25, 1947, with Pierre Ponty having had to leave the expedition at Niamey, somewhat past the halfway mark. They carried a 16mm movie camera, the resulting footage giving Jean Rauch his first two ethnographic documentaries, Au Pays des Mages Noirs, and La Chasse à la Hippopotame. A camera was used to illustrate Jean Rauch. S. subsequent book Le Niger en Pirogue Fernand Nathan, 1954, as well as Jean Savi's Descente du Niger L. Harmattan 2001. A typewriter was brought as well, on which Pierre Ponty produced newspaper articles he mailed out whenever possible. More recently, Norwegian adventurer Helga Hjelland made another journey through the entire length of the Niger River starting in Guinea-Bissau in 2005. The trip was filmed by the adventurer himself and made into a documentary titled, The Cruelest Journey. <laughs> <laughs> Management and development The water in the Niger River basin is partially regulated through dams. In Mali the Salingwe Dam on the Sankarani River is mainly used for hydropower, but also permits irrigation. Two diversion dams, one at Sotuba just downstream of Bamako, and one at Markala, just downstream of Segu, are used to irrigate about 54,000 hectares. In Nigeria the Kanji Dam and the Jeba Dam are used to generate hydropower. The water resources of the Niger River are under pressure due to increased water abstraction for irrigation and due to the impact of climate change. The construction of dams for hydropower generation is underway or envisaged in order to alleviate chronic power shortages in the countries of the Niger Basin. The FAO estimates the irrigation potential of all countries in the Niger River Basin at 2.8 million hectares. Only 0.93 meters hectares were under irrigation in the late 1980s. The irrigation potential was estimated at 1.68 meters ha in Nigeria 0.56 meters ha in Mali, and the actual irrigated area was 0.67 meters ha and 0.19 meters ha. <laughs> Niger Basin Charta and Investment Plan in order to further coordinate their efforts, in April 2008 the riparian countries which form the Niger Basin Authority adopted a Niger Basin Water Charta, a basin-wide 30-year investment plan and a 5-year priority investment plan. The Charta promotes integrated water resources management, defines procedures for the examination and approval of new projects, provides a framework for the allocation of water resources between sectors, commits to maintain the integrity of aquatic ecosystems and defines mechanisms for the settlement of disputes between countries and for user participation. Investments include the expansion of irrigated agriculture to improve food security, the construction of the Taousa or Tase Dam in Mali and the Kandadji Dam in Niger the latter has been under construction since August 2008, as well as the rehabilitation of the Kanji Dam and Jeba Dam in Nigeria. <laughs> Funding most of the investments are funded or are expected to be funded through aid. For example, the Kandadji Dam is financed by the Islamic Development Bank, the African Development Bank and the OPEC Development Fund. The World Bank approved a $500 million soft loan in July 2007 to finance projects in the basin over a 12-year period. Funding will be awarded in two phases. The initial $185 million credit will go to Nigeria, Guinea, Benin, Mali and Niger. The second, $315 million investment, is slated for Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Chad and Ivory Coast. Besides financing the rehabilitation of dams in Nigeria, the loan will also fund the "...sustainable management of selected degraded ecosystems and rehabilitation of small water infrastructure," and capacity building. Topic. River transport and dredging Topic. In September 2009, the Nigerian government commenced a 36 billion naira dredging of the Niger River from Baro to Wari, a move which will see silt removed from several hundred kilometers. 
The dredging is intended to make it easier for goods to be transported to isolated settlements located deep within from the Atlantic Ocean. Estimated to be completed within six to eight months, it had first been proposed and then postponed for 43 years previously by the then government. Speaking in Lokoha, Nigerian President Umaru Yaradua stated that the project would lead to all year round navigability on the River Niger and that he hoped that, by 2020, Nigeria would have become one of the 20 most industrialized nations in the world. Alhaji Ibrahim Bayo, the Nigerian Minister of Transport, said his ministry would work to make certain the project would be completed within its designated timeframe. Some activists have, however, opposed the project in the past, claiming it may have negative effects on waterside villagers. In late March 2010, the dredging project was 50% complete. Topic. See also. Topic. Niger River portal. Azawa, dry basin that once carried a northern tributary of the Niger River. Topic. Notes. Topic. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. Sources. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Information and a map of the Niger's watershed http colon slash slash www.wri.org slash resources Map of the Niger River Basin at Water Resources Eatlas link broken Niger Currents Exploring Life and Technology along the Niger River Pierre Moss and Geert Mommersteeg Fishing in the Pondo 1990 Saudi Aramco World Topic International Law in the Niger River Topic Bibliography on Water Resources and International Law Peace Palace Library Fabio Spatti, The ICJ Judgment in the Benin-Niger Border Dispute, The Interplay of Titles and Effectivites under the UTI Positis Juris Principle. Leiden Journal of International Law https colon slash slash open access dot dot nl slash handle slash one eight eight seven slash one three five four one opening parenthesis two oh oh five closing parenthesis four pp seven hundred seventy seven to seven hundred ninety four